Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be showing you 3D joints in Godot 4. For the first joint, we will be doing a hinge joint. So we will select a hinge joint 3D. This will be a one directional joint. It will be a circle. And if we look at the actual hinge joint node itself, and we select which node we want to connect it to. So we'll connect it to this door. You'll see that it creates a circle. This is the direction that it will be rotating in. So if I do it right now, it will rotate this way. And I can spin the joint 90 degrees and it will go down. Currently, without a second node connected, it is locked into place. However, when we add a, another door on the other side, it will fall straight to the ground. So if I go ahead and lock its linear position and the axis lock, it will still work. However, now it will not fall with the other node. And we can go ahead and duplicate this joint, drag it over here. We can connect its node A to door. We can create a, another door, drag it out here, and we will connect that to the node B. And now if we go in and press play, you'll see that they are all connected. However, sometimes we have them go through each other, which is not natural. And to fix this, we simply need to head back to our joints and deselect exclude nodes from collision on both. And now our nodes will collide with each other. Another cool feature joints have is called a motor. This will rotate the joint by itself. So to enable this, we will select motor, enable it. You can select your target velocity and impulse. So I'll set this to about five. And if I press play now, you'll see that it will spin. The next joint is the six degrees of freedom joint. So we'll create a generic six DOF joint and we will drag it up here. Let's go in between our two nodes. We will select both of those nodes. And I already have this node frozen in its angular axis. We will again create another node and we will connect two and three. However, when we press play, you'll see that they don't rotate. Yes, this rotates, but that's just because it's a rigid body. To actually get rotation from the joints, we will have to head over to angular limit and disable the limits. If we want it to be able to rotate on all axes, we'll have to disable all of them. And we'll do this for the second one. And I've also gone ahead and disabled the second joint limits. Now, if we press play, you'll see that they all rotate freely. A slider joint allows for objects to slide along the joint. We'll go ahead and create a slider joint 3D. And we will go ahead, drag it up here. We will connect our cube one and our cube two. And this is how it will be moved. So we will rotate it like this and they will now move up and down. We'll go ahead and drag them over here. I'm going to drag the first one up to the top. So now this cube will drop to the bottom since this one is locked on its axis. So if I press play, you'll see it'll drop to the bottom. And last but not least, we have the pin joint, which will just connect two objects together via a pin. So we'll create a pin joint 3D. Go ahead. We'll try to get it towards the middle of our objects and we will select the two objects we want to pin together. So cube one and cube two. And now since cube one is locked, it will rotate and the cube two will be attached to it like so. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.